hello beautiful people this is just a quick update about yesterday defamation case between uh, Owami Neziba Drahulu and Linda Kyle. Um, <laughs> Lynn is claiming to have won this round. So uh, just listen for yourself to both of their clips and be the judge. Linda Kyle is on this live. Mm. It might get crazy. But don't worry, guys. We have our red cup. You know what it is. It's with hands. We just ask it. Did I attend the court today? Baby, it's not like um a gathering where you get okay fine i was invited like i said before i was invited to the court situation um no i did not attend the court my angel open for your dad i didn't attend the court situation today because i told you guys already um i wasn't invited for today um <sighs> You know, I didn't know that the proceedings of it, there's so many things that actually go into it, right? And what I can say is that the person that has been feeding you information, let that person give you the information. But I told you that on the 31st of this month, I'm not going to court. I didn't have to go to court. Let her give you the full story because she wants to drive a narrative, perpetuate that situation, and make it seem as if we have to be at a certain place at a certain time. No, it's a lie. It's a lie. Let her tell you. So, no, I did not attend court today because I think. Um, I saw you guys really wanted to know how the first court appearance for the defamation case um went um so for you, some of you guys that do not know day before yesterday for me as i was i'm filming i went to the court um with my sister and her father and so you know yeah a lot went down honestly i feel like that's one of the biggest things that literally drained me and then yesterday for me as i'm filming i had to go and get my tooth removed and i had to see like my dentist that's why you guys didn't get videos i did go live though um i think that was day before yesterday for you guys um and so today as i'm filming i was supposed to have gone to court um for the defamation case and this was supposed to be the first um court appearance now guys it did not happen i'm just like here yeah. So basically guys, my lawyer called me and she was like, girl, we got a date on the 31st of August. Um, we are going to be there. We're going to go to court. This is going to be the first appearance. And obviously she did tell me some stuff that I don't want to talk about. Um, because obviously we all now, they always watch it. And we do not want to give them any, any, anything. Okay. So basically guys, um, so yeah, um, I confirmed it was the 31st of August, which was yesterday for you guys. Um, and so on when yesterday for me, I did call my lawyer because I wanted to actually confirm the time, but she was busy. She didn't pick up. I actually did call me back you guys. And she was like, girl, I've got some bad news and I would like for you to like, you know, tell me what is it that I need to do now, you know? So basically what's happening is that at first when this person the person that i'm suing was served they were served through lawyers in limpopo okay from what i was told or from what i understand so that law firm in limpopo did confirm that they were representing her and then after that they did send a letter to my lawyer saying that they're dropping her or they're no longer working together i should say i don't know who dropped who and then after that you guys Ugo went on to basically say that she's gonna be using legal, legal aid which legal aid um came back saying that they're not representing her and then Ugo got another lawyer 
and that lawyer now from what i understand if i'm not too mistaken is in bumalanga so y'all it's like a headless chicken running around it's like what who who's who be is in man who be is who matters you understand now with all that that has been going on guys it has been very difficult because if someone keeps hoping lawyers this ones are not working with her this one is refusing this one is this and that kind of makes the process also go longer it doesn't go as smooth as if one person has a lawyer like how i do and you're dealing with that one lawyer and you guys are making sure that everything goes well so the time that this person had to get served the sheriff had to go in limpopo which is one of the reasons why it took time for this person to, or the law firm to actually um be served um and so basically what happened now was that um my lawyer finally decided that they were going to actually have the matter in a court here in Kauteng. i don't want to say which one because for the court appearance i honestly don't want you ninjas to come and it's not because of i don't want you guys to support i think that looking at the type of person that i'm dealing with it does seem like there's a bit of um victim mentality a bit and there's a bit of you know something just ain't right for me you know in my personal opinion something just ain't right what you want is that a person's gonna be coming on youtube someone did something after maybe they banged their own face to the door because people do weird things out here she broke, okay and then after that they're gonna start claiming no it's or oh, i miss ninjas and somehow now i'm putting the person's life in danger or whatever that's the only reason why because i know that this person is a liar you understand so basically what Melia did is that she did actually get us a date which was the 31st of august and um it was in a court here in Kauteng, and so it was supposed to have gone yesterday how, how for you guys however yesterday for me my lawyer calls me and she's like girl there was an error when the papers were being submitted so it does seem as if they submitted them to the wrong court if i'm not too mistaken i don't know honestly guys um but when the papers were being submitted it does seem like they basically went to a court that they had, were not supposed to have gone to 